Welcome into day three of Locked On's top 50 most valuable NFL players presented by the Summer of Dave. Dave is the banking app that can help you get $500 instantly with extra cash. I'm Kainani Stevens. This is not your normal MVP conversation. This list was built in conjunction with our partners at Bet Online. It shows the value of a player when it comes to making the point spread for each game. So how does your favorite player move the line? Stick here all week as we release 10 players each day from our top 50 list. Naturally, it's gonna include a lot of quarterbacks, but who else cracked our top 50 and which QBs are the most valuable? We'll break it all down for you. Our Locked On hosts cover these teams every single day, so they'll be chiming in. Yesterday, we covered 40 through 31, which left us off at Devontae Adams. Today, we kick it off with Bet Online's 30th most valuable player, Cooper Cup, wide receiver for the Los Angeles Rams. Cooper Cup, the triple crown winner in the NFL at the wide receiver position, is about where he's supposed to be. My name is Travis Rogers. Thanks for checking us out. Make sure that you look at Locked on Rams as well. Click that subscribe button in your feed. And, of course, check us out on our Locked on Rams YouTube channel as well. Cooper Cup led the league in receptions, led the league in touchdowns, led the league in yards, and was your Super Bowl most valuable player. That's a pretty good impact on any given game that you're going to be in. The fact of the matter is Cooper Cup has been a difference maker since he showed up in L.A. a handful of years ago. He has gotten better and better as a wide receiver, as a pro since coming into this league, and he was pretty good from the moment he got here. When he got combined with Matthew Stafford, he took his game to a whole nother level, and the most exciting part and the reason why he's going to impact lines, why he's going to impact the bottom, the result of games, is that he gets better year after year after year. As good as year one was with Matthew Stafford, year two has the potential to be even better and year one ended with a Super Bowl MVP. For more on the Rams, make sure you check us out. Locked on Rams right here, part of the Locked on Podcast Network. The next quarterback in the top 50 clocks in at number 29, despite only two NFL starts under his belt. With the 49ers looking to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo, the reins will be handed over to number 29, Trey Lance. Trey Lance could be one of the most important NFL players for the 2022 landscape and playoff picture, and nobody's really talking about it. I'm Brian Peacock, host of Locked On 49ers, and Trey Lance is insanely important for the San Francisco 49ers and the league in 2022. He will become the starting quarterback of the San Francisco 49ers, which means he's probably one of the top 32 most valuable players in the league. And coming in at number 29 feels about right. But this is a football team that has Super Bowl aspirations. And no doubt Kyle Shanahan will try to mitigate the, you know, the impact that his first year starting quarterback will have and lean on the defense, lean on the running game. But if Trey Lance is not good in his first year as a starter, the 49ers won't be a playoff team. But again, like I said, Super Bowl aspirations. If he takes that second year leap like we've seen from Patrick Mahomes, like we've seen from Lamar Jackson and other quarterbacks in the past and look he's got one of the best offensive minds in the nfl and kyle shanahan to help him through that and a ton of great weapons of one of his receivers debo samuel uh is was the most valuable player on the team last year george kittle a good offensive line so this is a player that if he hits you're talking about a long term juggernaut team in san francisco as trey lance goes so does the john lynch and kyle shanahan led era of the San Francisco 49ers. For more on Trey Lance and the San Francisco 49ers, check out me and my co-host Eric Crocker doing Locked On 49ers Daily, available wherever you get your podcasts. Only two more running backs remain on our list before quarterbacks take over, and this one took over the top spot at the position in 2021. Number one in the NFL in rushing yards and touchdowns. Number 28 on Bet Online's top 50 is Jonathan Taylor. Jonathan Taylor not being in the top half of NFL MVP contenders is absolutely wild. This is Jake Arthur and Zach Hicks with Locked On Colts. And after the season that he just had, Jonathan Taylor is not only arguably the best running back in the NFL, but easily one of its most valuable players. He was third in the league in rushing as a rookie in 2021, and then he dominated the league last year with 1,811 yards, which was 552 more than the next player. His 1,272 yards after contact alone would have been third in the league in rushing. He had arguably the best season that a Colts running back has ever had, 
And they've had a Hall of Famers like Lenny Moore, Eric Dickerson, Marshall Falk, and Edron James play for them. Yeah, but at the end of the day, we are talking about a running back. And, and this MVP race that Bet Online is doing is about betting lines. Uh, so even the best running back in the league is not going to affect betting lines more than one of the worst starting quarterbacks in the league. So I completely understand where the ranking is coming from. But I also understand Jake's animosity towards it. <laughs> for more on Jonathan Taylor and his value to the Colts, subscribe to the Locked On Colts podcast. Uh, free and available wherever you get your podcasts. Three years into his career, our next quarterback has not quite lived up to expectations of the top 10 pick that was used on him. No seasons above 500 in three years as a starter. And with the New York Giants declining the fifth year option on his contract, it's now do or die for number 27, quarterback Daniel Jones. Where did New York Giants quarterback Daniel Jones place on the top 50 most valuable players ahead of the 2022 season? Hi, everybody. I'm Patricia Chena, host of the Lachlan Giants podcast. And our friends over at betonline.net have dropped their list of the league's top 50 most valuable players. And sitting right there at number 27 is none other than Daniel Jones, entering his fourth NFL season and his third one under a new coaching staff. Now, Jones's ranking seems a little high for a player that the Giants still don't know whether they have a franchise quarterback in him. And the Giants are going to be looking to rebuild and rebrand themselves under the leadership of new general manager Joe Shane and new head coach Brian Dable. Speaking of Dable, the hope is that he's able to inject a strong dose of creativity into the Giants offense that for the last two seasons has been staler than week old bread. Jones is definitely an important factor. As how he goes, so too will the Giants. But to suggest that the Giants, who have other and equally pressing questions, are writing solely on Jones's upcoming season, well, that's probably being a tad too generous to a guy that has a lot of potential, but who has struggled to fulfill it, not just because of the circumstances around him, but because of his own doing. For more on the New York Giants, subscribe to the Locked on Giants podcast, free and available wherever you get your podcasts and on YouTube. Coming up, a quarterback who recently found a new home that he hopes is coming with less drama and more upside. That and much more coming up. Locked On's top 50 most valuable NFL players list is brought to you by Bet Online, the number one spot for all of your sports online gambling needs. The NFL season right around the corner, but of course you can get in on the action in baseball right now, golf, MMA, whatever you are into, you have the ability to do that. Just head over to betonline.net. Continuing our Locked On NFL Top 50 Most Valuable Players list presented by the Summer of Dave. Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. Our next player made headlines getting traded a little more than a week ago now. He's hoping to give Carolina the quarterback stability that it's been lacking since Cam Newton. Bet Online's 26th most valuable player is Baker Mayfield, quarterback for the Carolina Panthers. Baker Mayfield hasn't even played a snap for the Carolina Panthers, and he's already viewed as one of the most valuable players in the NFL coming up here in 2022. I'm Julian Council from Locked on Panthers, and the Panthers trading for Baker Mayfield at the beginning of July fulfilled one of their long-term goals this offseason to find an upgrade from Sam Darnold, and certainly Baker Mayfield is that after taking the Cleveland Browns to the playoffs back in 2020 and earning his fifth-year option, but he fell out of favor. In Cleveland, and now comes here to Carolina with a fresh start and a second chance to prove that he is a franchise guy in the NFL. Now, saying he's one of the top 50 most valuable players in football this year is a little surprising considering, like, again, he hasn't played a single game for the Carolina Panthers. Now, if Carolina wants to have any success this year after rebuilding the offensive line, having a fantastic defense and overhauling the coaching staff and saving Matt Rule's job, it's going really, it's to really come down to Baker Mayfield playing well and getting this team back to the playoffs, which they have not done since 2017. And if the 2020 version of Baker, especially the second half of the season of Baker from that year shows up, then the Carolina Panthers absolutely should be in the wild card race. So I guess it does make sense why he's considered one of the top 50 most valuable players in the NFL. A rough rookie season took a toll on our next quarterback. Only nine touchdowns to go with 11 interceptions in 13 starts. And he took the third most sacks in the league. There is a lot to figure out for the New York Jets. And they're hoping year two is a breakout one for number 25 on our list. 
quarterback Zach Wilson. The New York Jets actually do not want Zach Wilson to win the MVP this year. I'm John from Locked On Jets, and while Zach Wilson is the most important player for the future of the New York Jets franchise, they're trying to support him this year. They do not want him to have to carry the entire load and put up numbers that would put him in the MVP race. The addition of Lakin Tomlinson at guard and free agency and running back Brees Hall through the NFL draft show that the Jets are trying to build a run-first offense, the type of offense that will take some of the heavy lifting off Zach Wilson's plate. And that's a good thing for the Jets. That's the way you want to bring a quarterback along. If you look at Sam Darnold and Geno Smith and Mark Sanchez near the end of his tenure, these were young quarterbacks where too much was asked of them. And that's part of the reason they failed to develop. Zach Wilson in the future is a guy that the Jets hope will be in the MVP race. But if he's putting up the kind of numbers that gain MVP contention this year, it's a sign the Jets are losing. It's a sign their plan's not really working. So... As strange as it sounds, the Jets really don't want Zach Wilson to be an MVP contender this year. They want him to be a guy who can function within the confines of the offense. For more on the Jets and Zach Wilson, subscribe to Locked On Jets, free and available on all platforms. The number 24 player on our list has the weapons to work with now. Two of the fastest wide receivers in the league in Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddell have eliminated the excuses for the next quarterback in the top 50. Number 25, Tua Tagovailoa. I've got a bone to pick with the quarterbacks ranked in front of Tua Tungvaloa. Kyle Krabs of Locked On Dolphins. And Miami Dolphins quarterback Tua Tungvaloa checks in 24th on the Locked On Most Valuable Players of 2022, according to the Bet Online betting odds. And sure, Tua Tungvaloa and the narrative that exists around him is going to exist until his production dictates otherwise. But some of the quarterbacks, including Justin Fields, ranked immediately in front of him has had less production, less success, less experience. And that's a really, really hard sell for me as I look at Tua Tungvaloa and the successes that he has had in the adverse conditions. Now, Tua is not without his limitations, but at the same time, he's a player who came up big in big minutes and has showcased the ability to really put defenders in conflict with his ball handling skills in the mesh point. I think that's enough for him to take a big jump in 2022. Coming up, we still have one non-quarterback left on our list. He's the king, but his ranking ruffles some feathers for the QBs he's ahead of. That's coming up next. We continue our Locked On NFL Top 50 Most Valuable Players list presented by the Summer of Dave. Dave is the banking app that can help you get up to $500 instantly with extra cash. Another second-year quarterback takes the number 23 spot on our list, and he also has a lot of work to do before he solidifies himself as the future of his franchise. Going into what will be his first full season as the starter, BetOnline's 23rd Most Valuable Player is Justin Fields, quarterback. The Chicago Bears. Justin Fields' spot inside the top 25 shows that oddsmakers have more faith in the young Bears quarterback than much of the larger national media narrative. I'm Lauren Cox from Locked on Bears, and everything revolves around Justin Fields for this Bears team this season. Even though there's questions about his supporting cast, which leads to the questions about the quarterback himself, you can see clearly that he moves the needle. He can be the difference maker for this Bears team. And as his developmental track continues this season, getting to know some new receivers, but a new offense that's supposed to be more conducive to his success, more of a focus on the running game to put him in that best position to be successful. He is the key to unlocking the full potential of this Bears offense, and the team will go absolutely as far as he can take them. For more on Justin Fields, tune in to the Locked On Bears podcast daily, wherever you get your podcasts. Our next quarterback sat and waited for two years on a new team before finally getting the starting job to himself. No more sitting as a backup or competing for the job. Instead, he comes in at number 22 on our top 50 player list with five seasons of starting experience under his belt. The number 22 player in the top 50 is Jameis Winston, quarterback for the New Orleans Saints. 
The fact that New Orleans Saints quarterback Jameis Winston is ranked behind a running back on this top 50 list is absolutely preposterous. I'm Ross Jackson, host of the Locked On Saints podcast. New Orleans Saints quarterback Jameis Winston is extremely valuable to this team, not only because of his positional value as a quarterback, which should be ranked well above any running back, particularly the second best running back in the NFL, but not only because of his touchdown percentage being at his career best in the New Orleans Saints system in 2021, not just because of his career best interception percentage or leading the NFL in red zone passer rating. No, it's also because of his ability as a leader. The New Orleans Saints offense will look vastly different in 2022 with Jameis Winston at the helm for 17 games. Jameis Winston is so valuable to the New Orleans Saints that new head coach Dennis Allen publicly ended the Taysom Hill quarterback experiment in a display that shows that the New Orleans Saints organization's dedication and commitment to Jameis Winston is matched by the value that he brings to the team. For more on Jameis Winston, his ranking, and his upcoming 2022 Comeback Player of the Year bid, make sure you find the Locked On Saints podcast free and available wherever you get your podcasts. The final running back in our top 50 comes in at number 21, and he is hungry to get back to dominating after missing nine games with a foot injury in 2021. The most established running back in the NFL and the one moving the bet on lines more than any other at the position is Derrick Henry, running back for the Tennessee Titans. Derrick Henry gets his respect. I'm Tyler Rowland, host of the Locked On Titans podcast, and when I took a look at at this ranking, I was pretty surprised, but happily surprised about where Derrick Henry came in. Uh, nowadays, the running back position seems to be devalued. There's always this conversation in the Titans fan base and within the national media covering the NFL about what Derrick Henry's value is and how valuable a running back can be. And I think Derrick Henry gets his respect here, deserved respect as well. I think it'll be very interesting for everyone to see exactly where Derrick Henry came in in relation to some players, not only at his position, but at other positions as well. For more analysis on Derrick Henry and the Tennessee Titans, make sure you subscribe to the Locked On Titans podcast, free and available on all platforms. Now that Derrick Henry is off the board, only quarterbacks remain. Find out which quarterbacks mean more to their team as our countdown continues tomorrow with the Locked On NFL Top 50 Most Valuable Players According to Bet Online, where the game starts. Follow our Locked On NFL shows to get more analysis for our Top 50 list. Locked On, your team every day.